Hello YouTubers, this is Lucas here. Today I'll be suspending ferro fluid in uh, three different suspensions. Mouthwash, uh, rubbing alcohol, and ginger ale. I'll be putting them in little jars that look like this, that are great for showing off to your friends, and um, are a nice keepsake. I can see you putting this on a, as a necklace, or also for doing some lifetime tests. So, for instance, I only have so many petri dishes, so whenever I play around with a different fluid suspension, I usually dump out the ferro fluid I had, create another suspension, play around with that, but now I can just keep them in all these little jars. So I actually just bought a hundred of these off of Amazon. So I'm going to probably do a lot of uh, ferro fluid suspension comparisons in the future. All right, thanks, and I hope you enjoy this video. Add only three to four drops of ferro fluid to each container. Adding too much ruins the effect. Also, I'd recommend filling the jars as much as possible straight to the brim so that way when you're turning them on their side, you don't see a big air bubble that makes it hard to see the ferro fluid. The first suspension I tried was isopropanol. Notice how stringy it is? It almost feels like I just suspended iron filings in water. It still looks really cool though. It's not my favorite, I must admit. Up next is a mouthwash suspension. Now this is a cool texture. It really shows off the greatness of ferro fluids. It's slimy and it looks like it's alive almost. And finally, here's the Canadian Dry Ginger Ale suspension. It moves as one giant blob and it even bounces. It's really cool too. I can't say which one's my favorite of these last two. I love them both. Here's the rubbing alcohol again on the ferro bot we made last week. It moves terribly with electromagnets. In fact, I could get it to barely grace the neighboring electromagnet here. Next up is mouthwash. Now wow, look at this. It moves so fast. This is real time. And it looks really cool too. My apologies for the bad camera angle. I really wish I filled these containers more so I could have done a top-down view, but the air bubble stopped me from doing that. Last but definitely not least is the ginger ale. It moves just as well, if not even a little better than the mouthwash. Uh, there's one thing I kind of don't like about it, and there's this kind of brown mucky film at the top of the fluid. It's not too noticeable in the jar, but when I'm in, when using it in the petri dishes, it does make the solution look kind of dirty, and I'd love to find a way to get around that. Alright, so that concludes my video for today. Thank you so much for watching, and to see more videos like this, etc. in the future, make sure to subscribe. I'll be releasing another video soon as part 2 to my Ferrobot tutorial. Alright, thank you and have a good one.